Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's Tuesday, which means I have another Topic Tuesday video. And if you're not familiar with Topic Tuesday, I'm gonna go ahead and leave you in the description box below the Instagram account for Topic Tuesday. There you find all the information you need and hopefully you can join us on upcoming Tuesdays because we do have amazing topics this month. Today's topic is what's on your wish list slash living list. And I actually had a list that I've been creating since the beginning of 2018 since as most of you guys know, I'm on a no buy for this year. So every time I watch a swatch video or a collection video or any sort of post on Instagram, really, I write down every polish that I want to purchase hopefully next year. So I already had a wish list going on, but I misplaced that paper. These are just 10 that I remember off the top of my head and that's what we're gonna go with today. But just know that I do have a lot of other polishes that I wanna get my hands on. These are just the ones that I remember at this time. Also, I do want to make a quick side note. Obviously, the polishes that I'm mentioning today are polishes that I do not own. So I'm using pictures from other Instagrammers, other accounts. I will make sure to leave in the description box their Instagram accounts. And I'm inviting you to follow all of these ladies. They are very knowledgeable when it comes to nail polish. And I've learned so much from them. And obviously, if you're here it's because you're a nail polish lover, I'm pretty sure you will enjoy their accounts. They're very talented. Their pictures are amazing. You will see. And I just hope you can show them some love. So don't forget to check out the description box. All right. So without any further ado, let's get started. The first polish that I have is the polish that you can find at Hot Topic. And this is the Black Heart Beauty Teal Galaxy Effect Nail Polish. As you all know, I love my blues, greens, and teals so much. So last year when I started seeing swatches from these polishes, I never really got a chance to go to a Hot Topic store and I didn't want to order online because I could never find a good deal for shipping on Hot Topic's website. But these nail polishes look amazing and I've seen review videos on them and a lot of people actually like the formula. Of course, you know, I would like to try the whole line, but the one that I'm that's on the top of my wish list for sure out of everything that Black Heart Beauty has at Hot Topic is the Black Teal Galaxy Effect. And if you see me looking down a bit in this video it's because I have my notes right here in my lap, so just so you know. Another polish that has been on my wish list for quite a while now. Every time I've wanted to purchase it, it's been out of stock, so that's why I haven't been able to get my hands on it. But this polish is Orly Mirror Ball, and it is a silver linear holographic. I believe this polish was released in the Orly Holiday 2014 Sparkle Collection and I just love the look of this polish. I love holographics polishes and this one from Orly I think is definitely a standout from all the polishes that Orly has. I recently watched a video from Josephine, a polish talk here on YouTube and she did a Morgan Taylor haul video and one of the Morgan Taylors that she showcased in this haul is just for the occasion. This polish is a deep bampy red with magenta and red micro glitters and as I saw her pop up the picture of this watch I knew I had to have that polish. I'm rarely attracted to red polishes but this one I don't know if it's all the glitter that's in there but I just I really want this polish. I don't know much about this polish I'm not sure if it's like a limited edition or if it's an old polish I'm not sure when this was released but uh, I hope that I can find it once my no buy is lifted. The next polish on my wish list is one that I want just for the name. I'm weird like that. Sometimes I want a polish just for the name. And this is actually a pink polish, which is very unusual for me. I've mentioned it before. I have yet to find my perfect pink. I'm not really into pinks yet. This polish is brand new from Simple Colors. It's one of the new 2018 shades. And this is Unicorns Are Real. This is a shimmery baby pink pearl. And on Simple Colors website, it is described as a shade that is seriously magical. I've seen swatches. I noticed that the shimmer is not very noticeable once it's there. But like I said, I mostly want that polish for the name. Maybe it doesn't photograph well. I, I don't know but I really want that shade from Simple Colors. I own two of the new Simple Colors shades. These are in the color Sucker Punch and Shock Candy. And I'm very interested in Orange as well and the green one. I believe it's Electric Sage, but if that's not correct, I'll put the correct name of the polish somewhere in here. But to be honest, if I could just get Unicorns Are Real, um, I'll stop. Like I said, I, I really, really want that polish just for the name itself. That's definitely the five-year-old within me requesting that polish. 
Soya is the brand that caught my heart on the first watch. I am very impressed with what they do, the colors they release, their formula, and I know that I have a lot of Soyas that I wish I owned, but like I said, I don't have my list with all the actual Soyas that I want. The one that does come to my head automatically is Soya Stream, and that's the deep blue scatter holographic polish. And that polish was released in the holiday 2013 Zenith collection. I really love the polish. I mean, you're gonna hear me, I don't wanna sound like a broken record, but I love my blues and that scatter holographic polish from Soya needs to be mine. All right, next up, I have two OPIs that are very similar in color, but they're definitely not the same. They are very hard to find polishes and I hope that one day I can find them at a reasonable price. The first one on my list is OPI's My Dog's Lid is a Hybrid and this is part of the OPI Fall 2014 Nordic Collection. It is like a sea green cream polish. I love that polish so much. I don't think I have anything in my collection that is near that color and I just hope I can find it maybe out of Marshalls. I'm not sure if I'm too late for that but if I can find it at this stash sometime or maybe even ebay i might get my hands on it the reason why i want that polish is for the color not necessarily for what it is i know that's a very popular polish in the nail polish community but i just want something that's similar to that color that color is just so beautiful so if you know of any dupes uh let me know in the comments below i might settle for a dupe like i said i'm just after the color Okay, now the other OPI is an OPI that's on a lot of people's slimming list. I'm talking about OPI's Mermaid's Tears. To be honest, that's a polish that I didn't really care for because I know there's a dupe from Orly and I can't remember the name right now. I'll put it here again. Um, that's very close to it, so I didn't really fall into the hype. And in case you don't know, uh, Mermaid's Tears is part of the OPI Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides collection. And it's like a dusty jade green. This polish made it to my wish list uh, two weeks ago. And that's because I finally watched the movie. I've never watched Pirate of the Caribbean's movies till recently. I started watching them two weeks ago. Um, I started off with the newest one, uh, Dead Men Tell No Tales, which is on Netflix. After I watched Dead Men Tell No Tales, I actually was intrigued to watch more Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, that was such a good movie. So on that weekend, USA Network had a few movies from Pirates of the Caribbean. So I watched the third one. I think that's World Ends something till World Ends. Sorry, I can't remember. Um, I'm new to this Pirates of the Caribbean stuff. Uh, anyway, after that one, they played Stranger Tides and that's such a good movie. It is an amazing movie. I think it's my out of the three that I watched. Uh, it's definitely my favorite movie. And you know, that's when they're, they need a mermaid's tear. And after that, I decided that I wanted the whole collection from OPI just because I love that movie so much. I know it's gonna be very hard for me to find any polishes from that collection at this point, but if I can find mermaid tears, I would be happy. I wouldn't settle for a dupe because like I said, I really like the movie, so I would like to get the real thing. I'm in love with the color, I'm in love with the movie. I hope I can find this polish for a reasonable price, although I think at this point, it's really just wishful thinking. <laughs> Since we're in the subject of hyped polishes, I wanna talk about another polish that I really wanna get my hands on because I wanna test if the hype is real. Not necessarily because I want that color. Everybody that has the original formula of Pacific Blue is head over heels in love with that polish. This might be an unpopular opinion, but I just don't get it. I, I don't get what's so good about it. That, and that's what makes me want that polish so much. I wanna try it. I wanna be able to see and feel what these people that love that polish so much, which is almost, I think it's safe to say everybody in the nail polish community loves that polish so much. Endless Blue from Simple Colors is very similar. I know it's not the same, but it's similar. Also, Porter Miami from KL Polish. I read in a vlog that this is an exact dupe for Pacific Blue, but do not quote me on that. Like I said, I haven't personally tried it out. I know Moonshine Manny has, in the Pacific, I think that's the polish, which is very similar to Pacific Blue, the original formula, of course. I want to know why these beautiful blues are nothing compared to the original formula of Pacific Blue. So I hope I can get my hands on it. And I know that's gonna break my bank if I really want it. But if you see it in the D stash, 
or if you're seeing it in the store, let me know. I would like to go check out my local stores to see if I find it. I just want to know. I want to have on my nails the magic about that polish. That's the only reason I want it. All right, the last polish on my wish list, and I want to say this is the top polish on my wish list. I'm not sure if this is a very special polish. This is an old polish, and it is from China Glaze Metro Collection. The first time I saw a swatch of this polish, was on a video from Phoebe Moon on the Saturday Swatch Fest. It's one of her older Saturday Swatch Fest videos. Like I said, I saw this polish in a Saturday Swatch Fest. It's from China Glaze and it is Skyscraper. I probably have four polishes that are similar to this in my collection, but I don't have China Glaze Skyscraper, you know what I mean? I want that polish. I'm not sure if that's gonna be hard to find or easy to find. I don't know if it's part of the core collection. I don't know if I can just go to Ulta's website and find it. I haven't done my research. I just know I want that polish. That's at the top of my list for sure. It's definitely Skyscraper, Mermaid's Tears, and the Morgan Taylor just for the occasion. So those are all the individual polishes that I can remember off the top of my head that I really, really wanna get my hands on. Um, I'm sorry I don't have my list. If I find it before I upload this video, I will list more polishes in the description box below. But before I finish this video, I also want to mention three brands that are on my wish list. And there's just so many polishes from those specific brands that it's hard for me to only name one. It, this video will be so long if I name them specifically. So my first brand that it's on the top of my wish list is Moonshine Manny. Like I said, I love Phoebe Moon. I love her channel. I love her content. And I really want to support her indie brand. There's not a collection she's put out that I don't love. That's, that's just how it is. Every polish she puts out, I think it's amazing. And she has in the Pacific, which is very close to the original formula of Pacific Blue. So I really want to try that polish as well. Um, is this a kissing book collection? It's a beautiful collection. I've never watched that movie But I can appreciate a good polish when I see it and every time she puts something out for the polish pickup All her polishes are beautiful. So I hope to try her brand soon Another indie brand that I'm really loving everything she puts out and that makes me drool when I see swatches from her polishes is Colores de Carol I mean she makes amazing polishes. I'll, I'm very impressed with her work. She's very talented. I mean, you have Beso, Sombrero, uh, Wizard Lizard, Camellia. She has so many polishes that once my no buy is lifted, like I said, Colores de Carol's gonna be getting my money. <laughs> and last but definitely not least, I want to jump on the tonic polish train as soon as I can. The hype on that brand is real. There's so many beautiful polishes. Tonic has put out so many beautiful, unique polishes. Um, just off the top of my head, I can think of Slytherin, uh, Light of Lyria, uh, Dragon Tears. I really hope to try that brand soon and I hope it lives up to the hype it gets. Alright guys, so that's all I have for this video. Don't forget to subscribe and come back for more. This month's topics for topic tuesdays are really good i hope you guys can come back next tuesday and watch another video and if you're joining us please let me know in the description box below i would love to check out your instagram post or your video as always thank you so much for spending some of your time with me i really appreciate you for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye